You can't keep jumping that high, man. Say as fool. And those are the starting lineups, so kick back, get your popcorn ready. We'll be back in just a moment. Number 44, Patrick Wood. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA action on Duke Alley. Take it away. Hey, Brian. And Julius Randles. Oh, great story. Good stuff, Alex. And a look at the starters for the Knicks. Inside, we have Randall and Robinson. Fournier, the two. Barrett at the small forward. And it's Rose in at the point guard position. And for Chicago, and Smitty. Mix up Some the teams team. are going big again. They are, B.A. It's all about matchups and creating Patrick mismatches. Williams. You like to have the personnel for every situation. Patrick Williams, he's a great defender right out of the gate. He knows right where to go and how to position himself. To the paint. Here's MP. And he floats Number it in 11. for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. Yeah, they've done quality work on the offensive glass. Ball passes to Levine. Here's Vucevic. Let's go with a three. It's rebounded by Barrett. And for Williams in his defense, he plays far beyond his age, Smitty. You know, that innate understanding Number is hard two. to teach, B.A. It's what made this team go after him. Could be a special defender for years. Oh, they get a hand on it. It's stolen by MP. Here's Randall. Good. And the assist goes Randall. to MP. Randall's got six points. That's three buckets in a row off assist. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes play. Pass to Vucevic. Up top ball, Noel covering, and Vucevic slams it in. The floor awareness of ball excels at getting the ball to his uncovered teammates. MP outside, and here is Noel. Back to MP. Shot clock at six. Three shots, three baskets. Great efficiency so far. They have no answer defensively inside. Pass to Levine. And Levine throws it down. No denying Zach Levine's hops. Flies right up and sometimes over the hoop to jam it in. Ball with it. Now quickly defending. Jumps up. Throw it down on the breakaway jam. <laughs> Talk about taking advantage of the opportunity. How about the anticipation right there that led to the steal? Then he goes straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Levine, that one's good. You know, it really helps your team when you take good shots. Zach Levine making an effort. Quickly against Ball. Quickly outside. MP right side. No good from the low block. And so it's the New York Knicks. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team back after this. And the young sharp shooting guard, Emmanuel, quickly connecting with all-star Damian Lillard for some veteran input. Really just giving me advice on obviously the point guard position, but what it takes to win in this league, what it takes to help the team win, how to bounce back from good games, bad games, staying through the kill throughout the whole season. So, um, so it's really cool to get to talk to somebody on that high level. Grant, that's a good number to have for some guidance. Absolutely, B.A. Similar frames and skills for Quickly and Lillard. And Dane with lots to teach. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Knicks. The hustle they're showing on the offensive glass has been excellent so far. Those putbacks always pay off. 
You know what else, guys? Defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight and turn them into points. Alex Caruso is out there with Kobe White. Then it's Tony Bradley. Then it's DeMar DeRozan. And it's Green in at the three spot. That's the five out there for the Bulls. Here's DeRozan. The Knicks pull it in. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule. They lost to the Rockets. I really think the nail in the coffin was their missed free throws. That's usually an ominous sign. You hate to lose it at the line, especially when you're getting what you want in other areas of the game. Pass to Bradley. Back to White. And he converts the layup. White's got the second bucket on the night. I mean, some good stuff out here. Five of their last six buckets have come off of nice passes. And Kobe White on the offensive end. Man, he is so good at changing his base. But he's gotten better and better since entering the lead. He keeps the defenders guessing. Has a great sense of timing of when to hit the gas. Here's Bradley. Pass to Green. And it's hammered home by Green. Playing from behind, it's amazing he chose a dunk with that high a difficulty rating. Yeah, no question. That was a stellar move with plenty of swagger. Ooh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. A nice shot by Toppin. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. For New York, they've gotten off to a perfect 4 for 4 start of the second. The shot's good. MP's got 12 points in the game. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Green finds DeRozan. From 10 feet away. And again, it's Chicago. He's so explosive. DeRozan able to make plays inside, causing the defense to have to make a tough decision. Now a timeout called by New York. And Smitty, you had pretty good size on the wing. When you were attacking mismatches, did you prefer to bully a smaller player or pick apart a bigger, slower defender? You know, it'd be a great question. I think both. I think when you have a mismatch, what you really want to do is draw a double team. So if you can use your size or your quickness, but also have the basketball IQ to know when the double team is coming and get off the basketball. Nikola Vucevic is checked in for Chicago. Zach Levine comes in for DeRozan. And for many years, we heard that the great seven-footers went extinct. But you have the MVP in Jokic, Joel Embiid, Anthony Davis. Maybe it was just a temporary lull. Well, it kind of was. I think, B.A., the game went to outside in. And now with these guys, they're making the game come back to inside out. And I am loving it. Beautiful play when it comes to explosive dribble moves. Levine makes it happen. Here's MP. And yes, it's good. He's seven for eight now. Throughout the evening, he's got to his spots, and the defense has not adjusted. Pass to Levine. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Fournier with some nice D. The Knicks have gotten each of their six shots to fall here in the second. MP, the pass to Robinson. Vucevic against MP. Wing shot on the way. They grab their own miss. Tries yet again. Rose with the bucket. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. The three from Ball. And it's good. Credit Levine with the assist. Ball's got 13. With slightly revised mechanics, Lonzo has become a more consistent threat from downtown. MP, the pass to Robinson. That one no good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. They're coming off a win against the Nuggets. You have to credit their game plan going in, especially at the offensive end, where they were just so relentless. They knew that the arena would be rocking. And if they could execute well on the offensive end, they knew they could quiet down this hostile crowd. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. He's got 18. And staring at a sizable deficit, the defense has to tighten up. 
It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Vucevic, the pass to Levine. Now here's Ball. The three. Noel with the rebound. And one of the reasons they're down right now is because they've fallen in love with the jump shot. And he drops in the layup off the glass. The and the Knicks lead by 14. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. And so it's New York. A sizable lead of 14 at the break. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be complete. Pages for Chicago. White comes in for DeRozan. And it's Caruso in for ball. So New York going with almost an entire new group here. Noel, he's checked in for Robinson. Gibson comes in for Randall. MP is checked in for Fournier. And quickly subbed in for Rose. Chicago has gone just one of three from deep since the break. You know, Kobe White, the former Tar Heel, viewed as a bit of a combo guard. But what I like is playmaking skills as a combo. So on the floor for New York, Todd Gibson is out there with Nerlens Noel. Then it's MP, then it's R.J. Barrett, and it's quickly in at the one. They double him with MP. White on the wing. Misses off the right iron. Thinking about White's playmaking here. Smitty, he made a big jump between his rookie and sophomore years. Doubled his assist numbers, B.A. He's passed the eye test with how he's moved the ball. It's an area he still has a lot of room to grow. MP against Vucevic. And MP throws it down. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Or good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. Vucevic finds Levine. That's in there. Vucevic with the assist. Levine's got 10 points here in the second half. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Here's MP. Not going to go that time. Some solid defense from Williams. MP outside. To the middle. Kicks it to quickly. For three. Good! Without a second to spare. Oh, you got to have some real nerve to hit that shot. Coaches always talk about closing quarter strong. Can't do it much better than that. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. Knicks out in front. They lead by 13. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get set for quarter number four. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> Just a selfless decision from your two guard, showing his ability to get his teammates good looks. At his position, traditionally, his job is to shoot the basketball. Give him credit for keeping his eyes up and just taking what the defense allows. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Patrick Williams out there with Zach Levine. Then it's Alex Caruso. Then it's Kobe White. And it's Vucevic in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the five out there for the Bulls. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. MP, the pass to Noel. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. Williams' shot is good. This is how you force a defense to collapse. Kick the ball right inside. Outside Barrett. Pass to MP. Now here's Noel. Good. And the assist no, goes no. to MP. MP's got his sixth assist of the night. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Here's Caruso. Outside Levine. Into the lane. 
Here's Vucevic. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Well, Vucevic has finished a couple times in the top ten of offensive boards, in part because of his feel for the game. Now a timeout called by New York. One thing you gotta love about Nikola Vucevic is that on offense he does it all. For a big, he's got a terrific three-point shot. And so it's the Knicks who come out on top here. With the late victory, they upset plenty of these hometown fans. They really should take this win to heart. When the pressure was on, they stepped up and worked twice as hard to overcome it. And that'll do it, folks. For Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time. Hey, so Ricky tells me the trade rumors are making you nervous? No, no. No, I'm not nervous. Obviously, I haven't gone through anything like this before. I just wanted to pause, just get your advice on it first. Sure, of course. Uh, long story short, everything's fine. Okay, that's good to know. Zooming in a bit on the details. The media is a game, MP. Simple as that. What matters long term is how you perform on the court. And try to see Kendrick's point of view. He's got to sell something. He's out of a job otherwise, and he's got a mortgage and a family just like everyone else. That's a powerful motivator. So it's just nothing we can do about it. There's nothing to do. You can't prove he didn't have a source. What do you want to do, sue for libel? You'll be on the back page in a dunce cap in no time, trust me. Yeah, I hear that, but this is where I want to be. You know, how, how can't you just throw a wrench in that because he's on TV? He can't. You control your own narrative, and believe me, you'll have plenty of opportunities to address this in the press. Oh, yeah. I watch. Everything's fine. I'm telling you, just be yourself, speak your truth, do what you do in the court, and this is a minor hiccup in the MP story. It's nothing more. Okay. okay. I hear you. I hear you. Thank you. Anytime. I'm going to get out of here, but okay. I'll see you soon, Christian. <laughs>